Welcome to another episode of Crypto Corner. Hi, my name is Nicole, and today we are going to go over how to create and stake Cardano on the Daedalus wallet, the most secure and the most private Cardano wallet. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the official Daedalus website, which is daedaluswallet.io, and I will put the official link in the video description below for your convenience. So this is the home page, and we're just going to click on download and go to the download wallet page. This has all of the requirements for the Daedalus wallet. It is a heavier wallet in terms of the storage. You need a lot of storage on your computer. So it does require eight gigabytes of RAM and 15 gigabytes of free drive space. So make sure you have that available on your desktop computer. Uh, and now it is available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. So all you wanna do is click on the download link for your operating system. So for me, I'm going to click on the Mac one and you just want to wait for it to download and install it. Once it's downloaded and installed, you wanna open it. Now, the first time that you open up the Daedalus wallet, it will take a couple of hours. So just leave your desktop computer open for a while and let it run because what it is doing, it is downloading the entire Cardano blockchain and all of the transactions that have happened on it. So it's going to take a little bit, but that's what makes this wallet one of the more secure wallets because it is operating on its own node. And then so also you're contributing to making the Cardano blockchain more secure. When your wallet has opened up, it will still say that it is syncing with the blockchain. So you will want to wait until this is 100% before you do anything within this wallet. Send Cardano here or even see your wallet balance if you had a previous wallet balance. Now I assume that you are creating a new Daedalus wallet, so it will most likely say zero and you will need to send your Cardano to this wallet. So again, we're just waiting until this blockchain has fully synced until we can actually start using the wallet. So once your wallet has fully synced and opened up, this is what it will look like. Now ours currently has a balance. Yours should say zero in it. Uh, where the uh, balance is. So the first thing that we want to do is we actually still need to create the wallet. We've only downloaded and installed it. So you want to go to click on add wallet. So here you've got some options to create a wallet. You can restore an old wallet. If you have a 12 word, 15 word or 24 word mnemonic phrase, from another wallet and you want to move those funds into the data of this wallet, you can click on restore here and it will ask you what kind of wallet you want to restore. So you click on Daedalus and what kind of wallet do you want to restore? 12 words, 24 words, 27 words. Whichever wallet you had before will dictate which wallet you're restoring. The other one is you can pair it with a hardware device. So this Daedalus wallet works with either Ledger S or Ledger X. So either one, it doesn't matter. And it also works with the Trezor Model T. So all you have to do is connect your device and remember your private keys, those mnemonic words are stored on your hardware device. So those words are never exposed online on your computer. So you just connect your device and your wallet will be created. And then the other one is if you do not have a hardware wallet, you can just create a new wallet. You can call it anything you like. And you would enter a password. And create Shelly wallet. And then it's going to show you your recovery phrase or your private keys. So hit continue and you want to write these words down on a piece of paper and store it in a safe place in your home, in a safe, or not even in your home, um, in a family member safe or a bank vault or anything that you would consider safe. Uh, but these words are extremely valuable. If you lose these words, you will essentially lose your, the key to your Cardano. 
Uh, so if you ever had to restore the wallet or if there was a computer crash or anything like that and you couldn't open up your Daedalus wallet, um, these words allow you to download a, the most recent and updated version of the Daedalus wallet and restore your wallet. So these words are extremely important and you never want to take a screenshot of these words and store them on your phone and or store them on your computer that where a hacker can get access to them. With cryptocurrency, you are becoming responsible for your own money. You are your own bank. And with that comes some responsibility. And this is it. So you write down, yes, I've written these down. And then it actually asks you to verify that you've written those recovery phrase words down correctly. And you hit confirm. And then it will create a new wallet for you. So once you have a wallet created, then you will want to now send your Cardano to this wallet. So you will click on the receive tab and this is where you will find all of your receiving addresses or deposit addresses. So these are the addresses that you will want to, well, you just want to copy one and put that into the send in your exchange if you were moving it from an exchange into this wallet. Uh, this is where you will send it to. So pick one of these addresses and send it there. And then you will see it shortly in your wallet. So now that we've received our Cardano in our wallet, we want to stake it or delegate it. So we will go to the delegation center here and you can see that the next Cardano Epoch starts in 12 minutes and nine seconds. When you first delegate, it takes effect after the current epoch and the next epoch. So keep that in mind. If this epoch was five days instead of 12 minutes, this would be a lot longer before we start receiving rewards. And here you can see that we can delegate here. So we click on this and we hit continue. We choose our wallet that we want to stake and we hit continue. And now we can see all of the pools within the Daedalus wallet. So typically when you click on one of these, you can actually see the features for each pool. This one has a saturation of 98 and it has a pledge of 500,000, which is the amount of Cardano that the pool owner has put in themselves. So that's important to look at. The saturation is too high though. So we want to scroll, the further we scroll down, the uh, less the saturation. So you can see this one is at 71%. So it's getting better. We want to look for a pool that has a low saturation. And that pretty much means the pool size, the number of people who are delegating within that pool. So let's find if, see if we can find another one. This one has 100% saturation. So this is not a pool that we would want to delegate to. So I've already done some research on the pool that I want to stake with, so I'm just going to type it in here. And you can see it's coming up here, and this one has a 10% saturation and 200,000 in pledge the pool owner has put in for Cardano. So we're gonna click on this. There are some features that you want to look for, some variables that you want to look for when you're choosing and selecting a pool. And I'm going to be doing a video on what those features are and how to pick the most profitable pool for you and why you may want to change your pool in six months to a year. So if that video is up, you will find it in the description below. So we click continue and we need to connect our device. You will see here that there is a deposit of two Cardano that is kind of like a retainer. You will actually receive your two Cardano back when you undelegate from your pool. And then there is a 0.175 Cardano fee that is your miner's fee, your network transaction fee. So we want to connect our device and unlock our PIN. And we are exporting our public key on the device. So we want to continue.
confirm. And confirm it here. And that has been delegated. So our new delegation preferences are now posted on the blockchain. These will take effect after the current and the next epochs, and that should be in about five days and eight minutes. Now we will start to see rewards after the following third epoch. So it could be up to 15 days before we actually start to see rewards coming in for Cardano. But you can see now that we are delegating with the pool ADAU. So that is how simple and easy it is to delegate with Cardano in the Daedalus wallet. So suppose now that it's been three to six months and you're not receiving the rewards that you were expecting or you find that the pool that you're currently in is completely saturated and you wanna get into a pool that is less saturated, you will want to re-delegate your Cardano and it's also really simple and easy. You will just click on here and it has a re-delegate button and you will continue and you will select the wallet that you want to re-delegate and again, you will choose another pool. Now, if you've done your research on another third-party site and you know the pool, you can type it in or you can select it within the Daedalus wallet. And then it'll tell you that your rewards will actually finish that epoch within your current pool and then at the beginning of the next epoch, your pool will switch over to the new one. So just another tip, there is no risk in staking your Cardano within these pools. Your funds always remain in your wallet. You're just assigning them to the pool. So why wouldn't you earn some extra rewards throughout the year? You will actually be receiving more Cardano and growing your portfolio. This is great for a bear market um, or any market really. Um, it's always, it's never bad to grow your portfolio and increase the amount of Cardano that you have. And you can also send or spend your Cardano anytime you like. Again, it is in your wallet. Now, when you're staking, you stake your entire balance. You're staking the wallet. But when you send Cardano to, say, an exchange, then that amount of Cardano that you sent will just not be staking anymore. But there is no unlocking period. And it's the same if you deposit more Cardano. Let's say you want to purchase more Cardano and deposit it into this wallet. As soon as you do, those rewards will also be staked within the same pool. Your amount will just increase and that will take effect on the next epoch. So that is how you create and stake your Cardano on a Daedalus wallet. Now, as I mentioned before, Daedalus is one of the most secure and the most private wallet out of all of the Cardano wallets. In our next episode, I'm going to show you how to create and stake Cardano on the Uroi wallet, which is also another very popular Cardano wallet. It is not as secure and as private as this wallet, but it is a little bit faster and it's also very easy to interact with as well. So I hope this helped you out in terms of staking your Cardano on your own in your own wallet where you maintain full custody of your coins. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want more crypto tips and strategies, and we'll see you on the next episode. Loving the crypto life.